so today I am here in the Peak District. Uh, my wife's gone off to Corfu for another uh, yoga retreat and so I've taken myself up to the Peak District for a couple of days uh, for a little bit of walking. So today I'm looking to um, sort of walk around uh, Bamford Edge and Stannard Edge and uh, yeah that's that's the plan. I've just sort of parked up uh, just down there and I'm going to make my way around this kind of uh, circular route. It's, uh, it's a little bit foggy this morning but uh, yeah, I think the views are going to be spectacular once I get up there. I've not done this walk before, so this will be a first for me. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. It's just some nice time to get out in kind of nature and have a bit of time with myself and my own thoughts. So looking forward to it. So we're going to follow this pathway up here now, off the tarmac, and head towards Bamford Edge. Oh, if I'd have known there was parking, I could have parked park there, but actually it doesn't matter because we're doing a circular. Actually, I'm going to drop down uh, near the car park, so um, that's, that's fine. But if you um, do want to park a bit nearer, you might get lucky. There might be a couple of spaces right here at the, the sort of the start point as we go up to Bamford Edge. to say I am really really happy and pleased uh, with the weather today the we're the first first of May uh, 2024 today last few weeks in the UK have been horrendously cold we've been putting our fire back on uh, inside but uh, today it's lovely I've just even just got to the point where I've had to take my uh, take my coat off so uh, really really pleasant up here I don't know how windy it's gonna get as I go a bit higher but uh, Oh, views, views are stunning. Oh, really couldn't have asked for a better day up here. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, um, got slightly distracted. I think I'm going the right way. Uh, it's a little bit of wind up here, but that's kind of to be expected. Uh, in terms of, yeah, so I've been walking now just over an hour and I've only done sort of one mile. Uh, 1.48 miles, so just under one and a half miles, but I have been sort of playing around with taking photos and also uh, taking a video like this one. So uh, I'm in no rush and I think that's the important bit while you're up here. Uh, you're your own kind of uh, master in the sense of time and, and as long as you sensible and get down before sunset and things like that and check your weather forecast. But uh, yeah, yeah, well, like I say, I'm in, in no rush. Uh, I think the accommodation I've got booked is sort of just down there at the end of kind of like Hope Valley. Um, I, think it's the, I think it's the Plough Pub, but they've got a couple of shepherd's huts uh, out the back, which I'm really looking forward to staying there tonight. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm in no rush. So just gonna take it nice, nice and easy. Yeah, so as I said today, we're uh, walking up uh, to Bamford Edge, which is just over behind me, uh, somewhere over here. There we go, just over there, which I'm heading to now. And I'm doing a bit of a circular route, so you're gonna end up over here at Stannard Edge, which is fantastic to see, be able to see kind of both and see where I'm heading towards as I go. Uh, I did pop the uh, tripod 
uh, down here uh, around these rocks. Uh, but I think, I have a funny feeling those rocks are used for something else. Um, so I'm not going to go and uh, stand in there. But yeah, I'm going to head to Bamford Edge now and make my way. Probably going to sit, uh, take a couple of high prolapses. There's quite a few clouds. Um, and yeah, enjoy a few snacks and a bit of water. I think that's uh, sort of well deserved as we're coming up to um, coming up to the halfway mark uh, soon. So uh, this is one of the reasons why I came here today, and it is for this, for this view at Bamford Edge, looking over uh, the um, Lady Dower uh, Reservoir down here. So uh, yeah, so I just took a bit of a break, um, so I had some water, some Jaffa cakes, and also took the, managed to take the drone up for a few minutes as well, which was nice. Uh, and I'm looking at my time, I'm looking at my distance and how much I've done. So at the moment, I'm sort of averaging a mile an hour, so, um, which is the problem <laughs> when you've got such beautiful views uh, like this as I'm walking uh, by the uh, Lady Bower uh, Reservoir down here. Uh, and that's a, sort of the problem, isn't it? But it actually, it's a, it's, a, it's a good problem to have that there's so many kind of views and uh, photo kind of opportunities. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm really kind of just taking it all in as I go and, and taking my time. I think the other, the other important thing to mention here as well is that um, you just often concentrating on going on one sort of one path in one direction. You can often forget to kind of uh, turn around and see what the view is from that perspective and sometimes you get you know even more impressive view so just make sure that you know kind of taking it all in you know in kind of all directions um yeah and talking of all directions yeah as, as i said i took the drone up to get you know a completely different perspective of this landscape and uh yeah yeah i love uh, really really enjoying it and the, yeah that so far the day couldn't go any better um, yeah you'll see the reservoir behind me that was Bamford Edge back there um, yeah up until Bamford Edge I think I'd seen sort of maybe two or three uh, people in total um, but now um, yeah seeing a few more people which is uh, which is great uh, and sort of everyone's sort of commenting on how lovely the weather is and what a surprise that is. So uh, we're all out kind of uh, enjoying it, which is great. So we're done. We ticked off Bamford Edge, walking down by Lady Bower Reservoir, and now we're going for Stannard Edge. So we're kind of, as I said, this was a circular route. So we're going to do a loop uh, around and go back uh, essentially kind of the way that I came from to complete that loop and to hit Stannard Edge as well. So, ah, it's just, yeah, look at this, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I, I always, Peak District is probably one of my favorite places to come in the UK. Um, not done this walk before. Um, so, yeah, 
uh, highly, highly recommended, highly recommended. The first part of this sort of trek was very kind of steep. I was very much out of breath <laughs> getting up there. Um, but once you get up here, it's, um, it, you know, it's pretty much flat. You've just got to be careful with your footing because there's lots of kind of stones and uneven ground, uh, which for me, who is extremely clumsy uh, with weak ankles, uh, can be an issue. But uh, I've been okay so far. I don't know if earlier on I captured myself falling over as I was sitting on one of the edges. Um, but other than that, I've had no no accidents or anything, which is always which is always good. Um, but it does happen, so you just have to be have to be really careful. Um, yeah, I've got a full view now of the the reservoir behind me. Uh, so I think I said today that I've been using the All Trails app to kind of navigate me uh, around uh, this route today. Um, I just looked at it and realised I've gone off off the trail, um, so I've just taken a little little detour um, to to get back on back on the right route as we kind of circle round towards Standard Edge. Uh, but yeah, so far using the app, it's really 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 good. Uh, yeah, it gives me my exact kind of location, so I can if I do go wrong like I just have. I'm able to kind of make sure um, I can get back onto the path or just turn around, uh, but I've been able to, to kind of continue um, with a slight slight detour. Yeah, it's also telling me kind of, uh, giving me stats on elevation, uh, also obviously distance I've covered, how much I've got left to do on this particular route, and uh, yeah, the time it's taken as well. So that's how I've been able to tell you that, uh, yeah, my pace hasn't been particularly quick today, but that wasn't the point. As I've said uh, a couple of times today, it's all about kind of, um, yeah, enjoying the moment, enjoying the scenery and, uh, yeah, taking time uh, for myself, uh, which is lovely. Um, again, I may have mentioned it earlier, uh, while, I'm, while I'm here in the Peak District, uh, my wife is doing something similar. She's uh, in Corfu. Um, on a yoga retreat with uh, yoga with Claire, and yeah, last year we went to we went to Morocco, and I, I took part in the in the yoga retreat. Uh, this this year I've got kind of uh, wedding wedding bookings, uh, so over the weekend, uh, so I was sort of unable to to come this time. So I thought, okay, I'm going to take uh, a little bit of time for myself, come to one of my favourite places, which is is the Peak District, and do a couple of walks. So. Um, yeah, that's that's where I am. That's where we are, and yeah, it's uh, fabulous. We're going away from uh, Lady Bower Reservoir now. I can hear. You won't pick it up on the mic, I don't think, but trickling of water. So there is a bit of stream coming from somewhere, and also <laughs> the ground is getting a little bit uh, muddier. Uh, so. Yeah, ah, here we go. Here is a little stream crossing. Beautiful. So I think, so I think we're beginning now to start to see our kind of first, or well, second glimpses, because I saw it at the car park, but our first glimpses as we head towards Stanard Edge, just over, just over that hill there. Um, which is, uh, yeah, it looks like the elevation of that is uh, much higher than where I am at the minute, so I'm going to assume there's a bit of a climb as we come up to it. But, uh, yeah, it's all fairly steady at the moment through, I guess this is sort of, sort of like moorland. Um, again, uh, I should say that, you know, this video isn't sponsored by the kind of the All Trails app, but uh, yeah, just had a quick look at it, make sure I'm still on the right path, which I am. And I was looking at kind of, looking in front of me where, where I see Standard Edge to be and looking where I've got to go. Uh, and it's given me some really useful data. So it does have a bit of a, 
you know, a chart to say the elevation. So at the moment, I'm actually going down to, um, down, you know, to as low as kind of 2.7 meters. And then I'll be going up to kind of like 400, oh, sorry, yeah, 400 feet. So yeah, there's gonna be a bit, I can see that there's got a climb coming up uh, and I can see the climb actually uh, in front of me. And we've got the two, 2.28 miles left. And as we kind of he head into this, this kind of valley and then back up to Stanard's edge. So, whew, yeah, there's gonna be a bit of a climb. That should be, should be interesting, but hopefully nothing too, uh, too difficult. I mean, I did look at the, again, all trails out beforehand and the, the comments were that this is a fairly kind of easy walk, which, uh, you know, I'd, I'd agree with, I've already mentioned the terrain and just being careful, but uh, a few of the other comments said that it was very, very muddy. I can't know what we had. I've, I've had a lot of rain in the UK, kind of over April. So again, that doesn't surprise me, but it's pretty much kind of dried out um, at the moment. And yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna go follow, walk down this valley cross the little river stream and head up uh, the other side. surprised that uh, it's not a lack of sheep uh, on this route but we have just gone through lambing season so as you can see there are a couple of little baby lambs I'm not gonna go too near because she's looking at me but uh, yeah amazing Steep and it's continual. Oh, yeah, this is tough. Just shows, I suppose, how out of shape uh, I am.
did record myself as we were as I was coming up here, and then I realised I didn't turn the microphone on. Uh, and I talked uh, for about kind of five minutes uh, flat, um, and I've totally forgot. It was a stream of consciousness, um, so I forgot what I was sort of talking about. I think I think I was talking about um, uh, so the route. So essentially coming up stand at the edge. Uh, I'm going to walk all the way across and then kind of descent into uh, the car park. Um, and I'll let you know what the car park is because I know one of the challenges with, with these kind of things is that you read online and I did the research as well uh, about the route of the walk and people started at different places but they never or very rarely mentioned um, the, the kind of car park the video started as they were kind of walking uh, down down the, uh, the lane. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you know uh, once I get there the name of the car park because it's, you know, it's really handy to know, a really good location. Uh, what I would say um, is I think if you want a really beginner's kind of, um, yeah, but if you really want a kind of beginner's walk, then stick to Banford Edge. I think there is a car park down by the uh, Lady Bower Reservoir. Again, I forget the name of that, but I'm sure the magic of uh, YouTube, we can put something across the screen to let you know what that one's called. And I think the ascent up there will be much easier. You can enjoy Bath the Edge without the kind of steep hike. Because I did struggle with the hike up to where I've just got. And the valley before was, was a real struggle. So I don't think that one's particularly for beginners um, as such. But um, really enjoyable, even the same. The weather's been incredible. Uh, I'm going to continue my walk. Uh, across that uh, sort of standard edge and you can join me as I do that uh, without me falling over. Uh, the other thing I was talking about and it was um, plans for tomorrow. Um, so yeah I'm gonna get to the car park and obviously go back to the car. I may just stop at Derwent Dam. Uh, Derwent Dam just to uh, take a uh, look at that. That's a beautiful kind of walk as well, uh, if you're in this area. Um, and then I'm gonna head to my uh, shepherd's hut for the evening. And yeah, gonna, gonna enjoy that. So tomorrow, I think the plan tomorrow is I'm gonna go to Padley Gorge, which again is very kind of close to, close to where I am, where I'm staying. And then uh, from, from Padley Gorge, depending on what time we've got, I will take a drive to Dovedale. And potentially, uh, while we're on the way to Dovedale, I may stop in Bakewell because you can't come to the Peak District, go near Bakewell and not grab a Bakewell tart. So that may be the plan for tomorrow but um, I want to want to enjoy today before I start thinking about tomorrow so yeah I'm at the top of Standard Edge Stan Arnold's Edge um, and I'm gonna enjoy that walk it's a little bit more muddy uh, up here than elsewhere today um, but yeah Again, it's a bit of a rocky, rocky walk, which you kind of expect. Um, but, but no, ah, really enjoyable. I can see the protruding edge up here, which I'm, give me a little bit of an opportunity to kind of walk out to, to have a look. Uh, one thing I would be really interested for you to kind of uh, let me know in the kind of comments down below is what, what's your favorite walk in the, in the Peak District? Um, I think, certainly think this is probably my favourite to date. Um, had quite a fun experience up Mam's tour, uh, where we got to the top and it chucked it down. Um, we were soaked through. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. 
think at the beginning I said about, yeah, this is all about taking my time, but also being kind of aware of, of what's sort of going on. And, uh, we're coming into the last mile now. The wind has sort of increased a little bit and got some sort of grey clouds uh, coming over from behind me. So I uh, just want to make sure really I get to uh, the car before before it does before it does rain. Yeah, I want to get obviously want to get back want to get back to the car before it before it rains. If it does rain, I am I am prepared. I've got my rain jacket with with kind of hood. Um, also a kind of a rain cover for the for the camera bag as well. So no, certainly prepared if it does rain. But if I can help it, I don't really want to get get too wet. But uh, I guess it's part of coming to the, the Peak District uh, and enjoying this kind of beautiful landscape that it has. It also does come with certain weather conditions and that's part of the fun i know i've got to get back to the car but i just want to continue uh, just continue enjoying this i know i desperately need a haircut but yeah okay you can thanks Whew. yeah yeah peak district Certainly, if you've never visited before, and make sure it's on your list if you live in the UK or if you don't live in the UK. I suppose for the second time today, I've made a bit of an error in um, direction. Well, it's going in the right direction, it's just sort of parallel uh, to where I was meant to be. Um, but yeah, I was walking along here, which is again beautiful and I recommend it. Um, but I just realised to continue on the route, the planned route, uh, I needed to get down, get down here. So um, yeah, I mean, it's up to you. The, the guides on the, the route on the All Trails app are just that a guide um, and you can like me just sort of go off them a little bit and enjoy yourself um, but yeah I'm back on the the kind of official official path now uh, for that last kind of mile um, but yeah highly recommend kind of walking up there it's good it's good fun over the rocks and things uh, but also it's beautiful to come down here and view it uh, from below so um, yeah, maybe walk to the kind of halfway point and then there is a little bit of trail which I've just been down to uh, and then join it for that last little bit. But I just stopped here for a reason because there are lots of these uh, millstones uh, around here. I just sort of wanted to uh, show you those. is in sight I can see see the car park just over there by those trees um, yeah oh, it's just been an incredible incredible walk incredible day I really thoroughly enjoyed it uh, it's just coming up to sort of 10 past three um, so I may just head around the corner to Derwent Dam and just take a look at that and then head to my little shepherd's shepherd's hut uh, in the village uh, down below I can't express how much I've enjoyed this enjoyed this walk really well well needed um, just to get out and kind of nature by myself um, one of the things I contemplated doing when I kind of packing my stuff was and I think they're in my bag is my to sort of bring my headphones and I think you'd be wrong to put your 
kind of headphones in when you go for these kind of walks. It's it's uh, yeah, it's nice just to hear the, the sounds of kind of nature, but also kind of uh, be in your own head uh, for a little bit, which um, which is yeah, it's good to do now and again. Uh, I can see a couple of rock climbers up there enjoying uh, Stanage Edge climb. Um, what a fantastic place to do it. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been a, a different video to normal, kind of a bit of a um, sort of follow me along this kind of uh, trek into, into Bamford and Standard Edge. Uh, but also kind of a little bit of a vlog where I've kind of just waffled on and talked about different things. And yeah, no, it's been really good. There's loads of these millstone, there's millstones here, loads, and there's some sheep. Uh, there's a sheep on a sort of tucked in a little rock there, which I may try and get a, a photo with my kind of 400 mil kind of zoom lens. Uh, may also snap one of the rock climbers behind me as well. Uh, and then I'm going to head to the car park which is, uh, yeah, just down there where that, I kind of know where those woods are. So that's where I'm heading for. If I don't see you again in this video, make sure to like and subscribe it, share it with friends, um, all the usual stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, and make sure uh, you do subscribe because the next video will hopefully be my, whatever I get up to tomorrow. So. Um, look out for that and thank you again. Uh, a little bit of an Easter egg here for uh, for you if you do come to kind of Standard Edge. There is a, a little cave, it's called Robin's Hood uh, Cave and I believe it's up there. Um, I'll leave it as an Easter egg for you guys uh, to find. Um, I'm going to leave it for my next sort of venture next time I come here hopefully I'll be able to bring my wife the next time um, but yeah I think, I think I'm heading down here uh, but yeah I think that's it over there I think it gets filled with water this kind of time of year so um, after all the rain that we've had during April um, but yeah a bit of an easter egg for you if you want to look for look for that um, just also reminded me of another another walk that we've done in the Peak District, uh, which is Fours Cave, uh, which again is a really good fun one. It's a really kind of big opening, um, yeah, uh, sort of Instagrammable pictures from inside uh, the cave, looking looking out, kind of silhouette shots, which is uh, yeah, that's all very worth a visit. It's a nice walk up there as well. Um, yeah, just, uh, I think, yeah, just be careful with that one. It can be a bit slippy trying to get up into it, but if you're up for it, try and check that one out. Uh, and I'm just making the descent now to the car park. And don't worry, I will mention the name of the car park. I hadn't forgotten. That's coming up. Yeah, just for a second. I thought I was going the wrong way, but no. All is good, but all is good. Now I'm going to turn the camera off before I fall over. I'm sure there'll be a few bloopers at the end of this video where I nearly have fallen over. Stream. There's a comeback uh, into the car park, which I'm going to tell you the name of that car park. If you've been waiting until the end of this video, find out the name of this car park. Thank you very much. Let me know because um, thank you for staying 
till the end. Um, and I hope that kinda of helps someone. Like I said, you might already know about this car park. But for me it's that kind of that little nugget of information that was missing from a lot of the other videos that I kind of watched that were doing this trip. Really good, really good content. But they yeah, just like, oh, where do they park? Um, I couldn't find out. Beautiful little pond there from the street. Um, but now I know, and now I'm gonna share that with you guys. It was only £4.75 for the whole day. Um, the board said seven pounds, but when you use the machine, the machine's contactless. Um, so, yeah, I know, I'm sure there are places you can park on the edge, on the road, but you've just got to take that kind of gamble. Right, as I said, I've promised, this is the Dennis Knoll car park. 